Okay, hello and welcome to Think 302, Business Finance 2. For your lecture periods and the venue, kindly confirm from the main timetable. The prerequisite for this course will be the introduction to business finance that took place last semester. In terms of the faculty that will be handling this course, that will be myself, Dr. Vera Fiedo, then Dr. Ladina Amwa, Professor Bookwin, and Professor Lord Mensa. In terms of my office hours, that will be Thursdays, 3 to 5 p.m. via the Zoom video conference and platform. Now to the subject overview. This course intends to build on Think 301 by further examining the nature and workings of financial markets and how corporations and investors put this to use. We are going to build on the premise of the goal of financial management, which is to increase the value of the firm. And in so doing, we will examine in detail the key corporate finance decisions that contribute to shareholder value, namely investment, financing, and payout decisions. From the point of view of corporations, the investment decision we will discuss will include capital budgeting and mergers and acquisition decisions. The techniques that are used in selecting capital projects will also be examined. The financing aspect will comprise decisions about capital structure, i.e. how much debt relative to equity is optimal for a particular firm. We will also consider how companies can return value to shareholders via dividend payment and other payback strategies. Topics to be covered include the trade-off between risk and return, cost of capital determination, capital budgeting analysis, long-term financing decisions involving capital raising and initial public office, capital structure decisions, dividend policy and measures and acquisitions. The objective of the course is to equip students to be able to use financial management thinking for problem solving and decision making in their professional roles as managers, financial analysts, etc. In terms of the learning outcomes, upon successful completion of this course, students should be able to apply security valuation techniques to bonds and stocks. Students should be able to explain the trade-off between risk and return and apply these to firm level decision-making for value creation purposes. Students should be able to apply the different techniques used in capital budgeting decisions. Students should also be able to analyze long-term financing decisions, including dividend policy. Students should also be able to identify the determinants of dividend policy while discussing the theory and practice of cost of capital and capital structure decisions. Finally, students should be able to explain the basics of mergers and acquisitions. As much as possible, a series of numerical examples will be provided to illustrate the concepts and analytical tools discussed in the course. Plagiarism is considered a very serious offense by the University of Ghana. For this reason, all written assignments will be submitted through the Turnitin portal. Plagiarism, which is a serious offense, includes elements such as quoting verbatim or almost verbatim from a source, such as copyrighted material, notes, letters, business entries, etc., without appropriate acknowledgement or adopting someone else's line of thought, argument, arrangement, or supporting evidence, such as, for example, statistics and bibliographies, without indicating such dependence, or submitting someone else's work in whatever form, be it a film, workbook, computer materials, etc., without acknowledgement, or knowingly representing as one's own work any ideas of another. Note that in courses which include group work or assignments that are deemed as group work, unless the act of plagiarism is identified clearly with an individual or a group of students, the penalty will be imposed on all members of the group, 
the penalty will typically be a grade F for the assignment. For further details, kindly visit the University of Ghana website to update yourself on the plagiarism policy for University of Ghana. For the course requirements, we will be giving you assignments, quizzes, a midterm test, and a final exam. The weights of these components are tentatively given as follows. Continuous assessment will be 40%, and the final exam will be 60%. The required reading for this course will be called from Brilli, Myers, and Marcus on Fundamentals of Corporate Finance, 8th edition or higher published by Magro Hill, or Ross, Westerfield, Jaff, and Jordan, Core Principles and Applications of Corporate Finance, third edition, also published by Magro Hill. All reading assignments will be indicated at the start of each lesson. Other texts, when necessary, will be provided in class. Students are to note that some of the contents of this document may be modified as appropriate when the need arises. Class attendance is a requirement for this course. Assignments must be handed in on time. And the use of mobile phones and laptops are not allowed during lessons unless otherwise indicated when we have a face-to-face -face class. Now, what is expected of you as a student? You are expected to attend all lectures. This is because the topics that will be covered in this course are cumulative. Therefore, missing one lecture could adversely affect your understanding of subsequent materials. Note that attendance will be taken at each lecture. You are also to make sure you read the relevant chapters of the textbook before attending class. You are to submit all assignments on due date. Late submissions will not be countenanced. And you have to make it a point to read the business section of newspapers to keep yourself up to date on developments in the financial community. You also to make sure that you partake in all quizzes as there will be no makeup quizzes for those who miss out. In terms of a cost delivery plan, for the first week, week one, we are going to look at bonds and bond valuation. For week two, we're going to look at stocks and stock valuation and also delve a bit into the efficient market hypothesis. For week three, we're going to look at the net present value and other investment criteria and to delve into the area of investment project analysis. For weeks four and five, we're going to look at the issues of risk and return and delve also into the area of the capital asset pricing model and the security market line. For week six, we're going to look at the cost of capital. For week seven, we will have an interim assessment. For week eight, we're going to look at raising capital and delve into venture capital financing, initial public offers and rights issues. For week nine, we're going to look at the capital structure and the financing mix and firm value among others. And for week 10, we're going to look at the payout policies and the basics of mergers and acquisition. That brings us to the end of the outline for FIN 302.